and the uh, first one is more like a bad boy. So you prefer the bad boy? Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to this fragrance testing. Today I've collected some attention-grabbing fragrances. So basically fragrances that doesn't smell like your everyday designer fragrance. These fragrances are a little bit more complex in their scent profile and not so many people use these fragrances. So let's see what Alexandra thinks of these fragrances. All right, um, Alexandra, we uh, try with the first fragrance and uh, see if you like that one. It smells like uh, like a man. I don't know. Like a man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that a good thing or a... a good thing? Yeah. Like Is... a fresh man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Is it? Uh, do you feel it's like attractive in general? If you have smelled this scent on a guy, is it like? Would you be? Oh, he smells good or just average? Yeah. It's like a, a fresh shower guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you see any specific like type type of guy that you can associate this, this with? Is it sporty guy or business or what do you see in front of you? Mm, maybe a business guy, but but in sports also. Cool. But more like a fixed guy yeah. that's going on a thing or something. Like so that. a little bit uh, dressed up and the guy who takes care of himself. Yeah. And, yeah. So, uh, like from a rating 1 to 10, what would you give this if 10 is the best? 9, I think. A 9? So re really yeah. good, yeah? Yeah, I like okay. that. Uh, have you smelled this before or is it a new scent for you? I I can recognize the smell from something. It's nothing like revolutionary for you, like, oh, this is a new scent. No, it's... Uh, I think it's pretty basic, but still good, like a classic one. Okay, uh, yeah. Classic smell. Yeah, okay, yeah. awesome. So uh, we jump into the uh, second fragrance. We have some coffee ready. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That I neutralizes the nose a bit. So that's yeah, good. I didn't know that, but I like this uh, less. Okay. Uh, actually, it's still fresh, but it's not my kind of scent. Okay. But I can also recognize it. Um... What is it with this one that you don't like as much as the first one? Because the first one um, is a bit fresher, like you just got out, out of shower, and this one is like a little mixed with sweat, maybe. Yeah, yeah like exactly. More, yeah. more that you have been uh, outside a long time, and the perfume is still on. Okay. Yeah. For my taste, for my taste, but of course, I'm not, I... that's all that matters today. What you think, of course. So, uh, yeah. in general, <laughs> do you like more fresher scents on guys, or like sweet and warm? Uh, fresher scents. That's more attractive. Yeah, yeah. So the second one, uh, same as the first, rating from one to ten. Like it's not, it's not that bad. It's a uh, no. seven, maybe. Is it above average or just like? Uh. Mm, it's average, I would say. So not sexy on a guy. You wouldn't think it's sexy on a man. Yes, I would. I would. Yeah. Okay. But it's pretty basic too. Is it a specific guy that you can see this fragrance on if you just paint the picture in your mind maybe? Is it uh, a kind guy or is it more uh, like motorcycle guy or you know what I mean? A kind guy. <laughs> a kind guy, yeah. A good guy. And the uh, first one is more like a bad boy. So you prefer the bad boy? Yeah. <laughs> in the scent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Uh, so seven out of ten for the second scent. Is the nose still okay? You can still uh, smell different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So uh, yeah, we jump into the third one. The, this is a little bit more original. Original is good, but yeah. uh, the classic ones is not bad either. Okay. Like you can always go back to them. But uh, if I would try a new scent, I would try this. So this is not so common. You haven't smelled this on many guys. Mm, I have, but less than the other ones. All right. So this is a little bit different if you compare to the previous ones. No, it's good, but I like the first one uh, the best. <laughs> it's best, like best my so taste. Far. So uh, rating for the third one. Seven, eight, something in between there. Maybe? Seven and a half, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So take some coffee and then we move into the fourth one. This is not my kind of perfume, uh. I would say. But it's like, it's not bad, but it's not my taste at no. all. No. It reminds me of something, but I, I can't uh, come, up, come up with what it reminds me of. Okay, is it a, like a memory or a person or a, like 
some uh, notes no, some in the product, fragrance. Some product, I don't know which product, but... Like some skincare or uh, hair product or yeah. something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. skincare, shower, gel, something. From the Lush store, maybe. <laughs> something like that. No, so, something like man, uh, man oh. products, but yeah. uh, maybe some like uh, citrus, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, how is this not, not your taste? Because it's too uh, citrusy for you or... Uh, as I said, uh, my taste is pretty much uh, number one. I like um, fresher uh, sentences. Uh, no. Mm. Yeah, sense. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> on guys and uh, like more flowery, girlish on girls. Okay. Uh, so. Just a little is... uh, side mark. Do you have like a favorite fragrance on a guy or? Maybe the. I don't remember if it if it is it, but uh, the diesel. The one. Ah, the okay. Maybe, maybe. Uh, only the that... brave or something like that. I think it's called. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'm not it's, sure. It's popular. It's nice. It's very nice. Mm. All right. So a rating for the fourth one. Five. Five. All right. So we jump into a more sweet scent. Is this guy scent or is this? Yeah, girl's? yeah. All is uh, men's fragrance actually. But do uh -huh. you, you think that's feminine because you mentioned it? Yeah. Or? Yeah. It reminds me of my mom. She <sighs> has that. So okay. it's not not good. It's too feminine. Do you think or? Mm, it would it would work. Yeah. But I think it's yeah it's a bit feminine mm. for my taste. So you want more uh, fresher? No, you don't even like sweet fragrances on guys. You think that's too feminine? Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Not much. Do you feel uh, some guy that could wear it if you like a teenager maybe or a younger guy or maybe a hippie? <laughs> Everything is evolving. Turtle, you're a dove. <laughs> That's cool. Can I hit that? Sharp. Thanks. Hippie. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Or yeah. like Swedish style. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like a free spirit type. Uh... Yeah. But it would fit like everyone, but if I like get to choose a type, it would be a streety, more uh, to the streety mm. side than the business side. So uh, what would you give this from one to 10? A six. Okay. Let's jump into the sixth scent of today. This is uh, actually the fragrance that Drake has, weared, uh, has been wearing. Walk into the room and you can smell the Clive Christian scent. A lot mm. Definitely a sporty guy type. Okay. Yeah. You don't think it's strong, like uh, very pungent? It is heavy, but I associate it with sport. Like you, you have a game, you go shower and then you take uh, that perfume on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why? No, basketball, just... uh, basketball guy. I don't know why. Okay, but... okay, interesting. Alrighty, so uh, a rating for the sixth one. Uh, seven. Seven. Maybe. Okay. All right, so now we jump into um, a little bit more different type of smell. I think it's very light. Okay. Um, not as heavy as the first one, but this could be also a feminine. Uh, okay. smell so. mm -hmm. but I can recognize it also in a product it's supposed to be have some whiskey type of notes in this it's called pure malt <laughs> like malt whiskey can you feel that at all like the whiskey vibes and some warm maybe a man who drinks whiskey but not not whiskey specifically this is a, a business um, business guy or category too yeah so like uh, office job you know, a rich man. <laughs> okay, a rich man. Is the first one still your favorite? Maybe this is my second best, I think. The seventh one, okay. So, uh, a rating for the seventh fragrance. Eight. Eight, okay. So take a little bit more coffee and then we jump into the eighth and last fragrance. Mm -hmm. No? No, no. No? I don't know. You don't like that at all. No. Oh, I, <laughs> I saw that. Like, it's like a little bit of sweat in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, some people say that this smells old, like an old man. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Can you yeah. feel that? Old sweaty man. <laughs> yeah. 
especially a little bit younger people say that because they it's it's a note in this fragrance that's called vetiver that is pretty uh, uh, old smelling type of fragrance note and also it's citrus in this one so maybe the combination yeah i felt that actually but like more um like lemon you know exactly. out, outer uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and then outer. sweat ball inside <laughs> <laughs> this i would give a low rate so uh is this the worst one today yes <laughs> so what do you want to give it two two <laughs> Right. If you're gonna recommend like just one fragrance to uh, like a boyfriend, guy friend, or uh, yeah, general, would you recommend the first one still? Uh, it's like the one um, is uh, very heavy and has very much uh, smell in it, but mm. I like it. All right, that was uh, it for today. Uh, Galloway from uh, Perfumes de Marley is the winner of today. It's called mm -hmm. which, which brand is it? Uh, Perfumes de Marly. It's a uh, niche fragrance brand from France. Uh, mm -hmm. So they don't uh, they don't do like clothes and stuff like that that the other brands do like Armani and Prada. This is just aiming towards uh, fragrance producing basically. They're they're just a fragrance house. So thank you for being in the video, Alexandra. You're welcome. <laughs> So that was everything for this video, hope you liked it and if you did give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and follow Alexandra on Instagram, I have linked her Instagram name in the description. Take care, see you the next time.